Yeah, I think it caps off a, obviously a disappointing week in terms of results, but if we can take the positives, then it's obviously a very good first half in which we probably should score more and maybe put the game to bed um, before, before half-time. And then they changed the shape and probably caused us a little bit of problem, uh, a few problems. and. I just don't think we probably probably lack the intensity in the second half, to be honest. And they managed to capitalise on the on the good play that they, that they had. Now, as soon as, as soon as the ball hits the back of the net, you want to be off celebrating. But I wasn't too sure what the check was for. Obviously, the ref um, was, was staying quiet on that. I don't know if it was an offside or a, or the injury, the the foul or, or whatever. So um, obviously, nice to see it go in eventually. But um, like I said, we we had more than more chances than that, and it would have been nice to score a few more goals. I think. I mean, I've been there as a striker myself, obviously, throughout the years, and it almost feels like it's inevitable that you're going to get a glut of goals at some point, and hopefully it's in the near future. Yeah, like I said, I think um, we've got to take the positives out of the week. Um, the first half an hour, 45 minutes against Switzerland was good. Obviously, they're a top side, so tactically we, we take the positives from that. And then, like I said, tonight, 45 minutes, we were by far and away the better team. and. Um, I think the things we're putting into place on the training ground are sort of coming into fruition a little bit. So we've got to keep working hard every time we come away and make sure we all stay fit and, and strong and get ready to come back.